It's Christmas time, which means it's time for the Pringle 500. Hiya folks, this is Griffin Spear, aka Griff Dog, and welcome to Eminem Super Speedway. This three mile super speedway is a megalith of a track, and with the challenge of snow, this 10 lap dash will be anything but easy. Here's the starting lineup for today's Kringle 500. On the pole, we got Brad Keselowski, who was in the round of 12, and Joey Logano, who was in the round of 8. William Byron will start third, and Martin Truex Jr., who was in the final four, will start fourth. Kurt Busch, Kentucky winner, will start fifth, and Ryan Blaney, who won at Talladega in the fall, will start sixth. Kevin Harvick will start seventh. He was in the championship four, and Kyle Busch, 2019 Cup Series champion, will start eighth. And then rounding out the top ten, Ryan Newman, who almost pulled off the upset at Talladega, will start ninth, and Eric Jones, Southern 500 winner, will start tenth. As we go outside the top 10, Chase Elliott, most popular driver, will start 11th, and Kyle Larson and McDonald Chevrolet will start 12th. Stuart Haas teammates, Almarola and Clint Boyer. Ben Rhodes, in his first start for Thor Sword Motorsports, Jimmy Johnson, seven time champion, will start 16th. Daniel Suarez and Denny Hamlin will start 17th and 18th. Ricky Stenhouse, in his final start for Roush Racing, and Christopher Bell, in his first start for Levine Family Racing. Alex Bowman and Ty Dillon will start 21st and 22nd. Ryan Priest and Daniel Hemrick, the rookies, will start in row 12. Matt DiBenedetto and Paul Menard will start in row 13. Chris Buescher and Michael McDowell will start 27th and 28th. Rounding out the top 30, we got Bubba Wallace and Austin Dillon in the three car. John Hunter Nemechek, who's replacing Matt Tift, will start 31st, and David Reagan in his final start will start 32nd. Landon Castle will start 33rd, and Cora LaJoy will start in 34th. Corey is back in 2020 in the 32 car. So as the pace car comes off here through turns three and four, Brad Keselowski will lead him to the green, followed by Logano, Byron, Martin Trex Jr., Kurt Busch, and Ryan Blaney are your top six. Who's going to win this race? How is this race going to unfold? Are we going to get a lot of cautions? Or are we going to go green all the way through? Here we go, boys. Down the front straightaway here, crawling at 70 miles an hour. But the flagman has the green in the air. And we are racing here at the Kringle 500 here at Eminem Super Speedway. Into turn number one, William Byron is looking underneath Brad Keselowski, but all that does is give the nod to Joey Logano as he clears into turn number one. Martin Truex and Ryan Blaney are trying the high side. As you follow the 19 and 12, they are already both outside the top 10. Martin Truex almost will be, but Ryan Blaney is outside the top 10 as look at him three and four wide down the back straightaway. Logano leads with Byron in second, and they are four wide for third. Kevin Harvick in the middle, Ryan Newman in the middle, Chase Elliott down to the inside, and Keselowski, who started on the pole, might just fall outside the top ten as he is on the way high side, but there is absolutely no grip up there, and Keselowski is falling back fast. Down the front straightaway, Ricky Stenhouse, way down to the inside, goes through the grass, and he hits Ty Dillon, and no caution as they are four wide behind. Ben Rhodes on the high side there getting help from Denny Hamlin who was in the final four. Meanwhile, Logano leads with a couple of Hendrick drivers second and third and look at them. Super loose through turns one and two. Their backs jut out there, but they all save it for now. Chase Elliott looking underneath William Byron for second as Eric Amarola is underneath, or not underneath, he's behind William Byron now. As we got this aerial shot here, Clint Boyer thought about, and it looks like he is going to follow Chase Elliott down to the inside. I think that's a smart move, because again, there's no grip on the high side as we follow Clint Boyer right now, as he is on Chase Elliott's bumper here, and Boyer has about half a car length underneath Chase Elliott. Is that enough for Boyer to pass him? Off of turn number four, Logano continues to lead as the pack is all right there, except for Balicki, who's fall who has fallen off pace. And Logano continues to lead every lap. And now down the front straightaway, Chase Elliott is now looking underneath William Byron. Boyer is underneath Almarola. As down in turn number one, look at Kyle Busch, the champion, as well as Eric Jones, way on the high side. They tried doing something, but they are way outside the top ten. As we follow Kyle Busch here with Eric Jones behind. 
And boy, very interesting to see them try that high side with Ben Rhodes behind them. Logano continues the lead with Chase Elliott in second, Boyer third, and Ryan Newman, who almost won at Talladega earlier this year, is in fourth. As Alex Bowman, Byron's teammate, is going to follow suit, and it looks like Bowman will make his way into the top five, and Ryan Blaney is making a run on Almarola and William Byron. Down the front straightaway, Chase Elliott is looking to the inside, but he has no help as Cliff Boyer decides to help out his four teammate, Logano. Newman almost decided to go with uh, Cliff Boyer, but he decided to go to the inside, and he's going way down to the inside. He decides to stay behind Chase Elliott for the moment, as a couple of other Hendrick cars are there on the high side. Jimmy Johnson and William Byron are up high. Down the back straight away here, and it looks like Logano continues the lead. Will Chase Elliott duck out at all? Larson way down to the inside, but he has no drafting help as Amarola is giving a little boost to Bowman underneath Boyer, and here we go for the lead. Chase Elliott underneath Logano here, and this is our first attempt at a lead change, and it looks like Elliott has the inside, so Elliott should get the lead away from Logano, and coming off of turn number four, it looks like Chase Elliott gets the job done. Move Chase Elliott into P number one, and the crowd roars as the most popular driver in NASCAR has taken the lead down the front straightaway here at the Kringle 500. Down in turn number one, it looks like Eric Omarola is trying to do the same thing as Chase Elliott. Um, yeah, as Chase Elliott, and looks like it. Logano, he's going to fall not just outside of third, but fourth and possibly fifth and battle for the lead. Omarola down to the inside of Chase Elliott. They are now side by side for the lead. Bowman goes up to help Chase Elliott as they go down the back straight away. Look at the teammates. They are able to help each other out, and nope, betrayal. <laughs> Got some good old betrayal right there as Alex Bowman decides to go underneath Chase Elliott and follows Almarola. I don't blame him as they are three wide behind. You got Ryan Sieg and um, Eric Jones in the middle. Meanwhile, out front, Bowman to the lead. Alex Bowman was able to get a good run down the um, down turn number three and four, and it looks like Bowman may lead this as they are going to be four wide for the lead. Alex Bowman led that lap, but he has a couple of hungry Stuart Haas Racing drivers, Almarola and Suarez, as well as Paul Menard down to the inside, and look at that. Absolutely no grip on the high side, and Almarola and Chase Elliott fall very close to outside the top ten. And just like that, Paul Menard is now your leader. Paul Menard and Daniel Suarez, they are both out of rides at the end of this year. Can either of them give their respective team owners one more win? Down the back straightaway, we got a lot of veterans here. Jimmy Johnson, William Byron, Kyle Busch, Eric Jones are all back there, including Kevin Harvick. And battle for the lead, Ryan Newman. Newman, who is still pouting over his loss at Talladega, he's going to try to give Roush Racing a win here. Suarez pushes Menard as we have Fords in the top four. Menard, Suarez, Newman, and Ryan Blaney has quietly made his way into the top five. On board with Blaney as he looks to the inside and he's trying to get a run. Looks like he should get third as Suarez is on the high side. And it looks like, looks like Blaney is going to move his way up to third with Kyle Larson in the McDonald Chevrolet in fourth. Here as a couple of drivers are moving, trying to move their way back forward, and that is Clint Boyer and Alex Bowman. Chase Elliott and Logano have both fallen quite a ways back as Newman is looking underneath Paul Menard now for the lead. Down turn number three, Ryan Blaney goes way up high, and Clint Boyer, just like that, gets three positions. Ryan Newman off of turn number four here. He's going to take the lead from Menard. And the laps are winding down here. Denny Hamlin is quietly making his way up to the front. Hamlin, who's part of the championship four. He, uh, his car was overheating. That's why he did not win. As Menard is looking to the inside now of Ryan Newman. And Boyer has made his way up to third with Larson in fourth. But it looks like Larson's going to get a run through turn one. Boyer gets really loose off of turn number one here. And he's going to fall outside the top five as Kurt Busch is going to make his way up into fifth. Larson is now in second with Suarez in third. Larson going to the middle. Newman up high. And Suarez, he's looking to the inside, but he has no help. Now Denny Hamlet is going to the rescue. In the turn number three, Paul Menard high. Larson middle. Suarez low. And Menard was able to block Larson for the moment. 
And Ryan Newman is now going to lose a lot of spots as Newman is now way up to the high side. And I saw farther in the back, David Reagan and Ryan Blaney got into each other. Down the front straightaway, Larson and Menard are one, two, side by side here with Suarez in third and Kurt Busch in fourth, Hamlin in fifth. David Reagan, David's going to be done in NASCAR after tonight. Did Reagan get a win for Front Row Motorsports here? Through turns number two, and we got problems down the back straightaway. Josh Balicki into the inside wall hard. Caution is out. The caution is out here with two laps to go. This race is not over. If we had the rules like what we did in 2008, Paul Menard would have won this race. But since we do have overtime, we're going to have a green white checker here to decide the winner. And it looks like Paul Menard is your leader at the moment. So right now, Paul Menard has the best chance to give one more win for himself and for Wood Brothers. So as the cars slow up here, Josh Balicki, he was off pace pretty much the entire race. And it looks like his day is done in the Insurance King Chevy for Rick Ware Racing. We'll show you the replay here of what happened to the 53 of Josh Balicki. And uh, yeah, definitely a tough day for him as 42 cars were in this race. And so for this restart, it looks like there will be 41. So we'll take a look here and see what happened to the 53 here on turn number two. He was all by himself and hmm, something happened in the back of the car. He just lost it and into the inside wall hard. And yeah, you could say like, oh, he maybe crashed on purpose or something like that, but I don't know. But anyway, Josh Balicki, there you see him loose right there in a slow motion shot. And he spins down to the inside and just absolutely nowhere to go but head on into the inside wall. We'll give you word here on if Balicki is okay. And we're getting word now from officials and Balicki, he is, he is moving. He um, actually did walk to the ambulance by himself. So Josh Balicki is okay. But you can't really say the same thing about his car though. So we almost made it through the Kringle 500 without a caution, but unfortunately that is not the case as we are going to run a couple of pace laps here to clean up the mess. And then we're going to, after this commercial break, we're going to go ahead and we're going to restart it. So the rundown is as follows. Paul Menard is your leader, followed by Kyle Larson. Daniel Suarez is third. Kurt Busch fourth. And then Clint Boyer, Suarez's teammate, is fifth. Denny Hamlin sixth. Chris Buescher quietly making his way up to the top ten. Ryan Newman eighth. Chase Elliott ninth. And then Eric Almarola is tenth. Farther down, Ryan Priest, followed by Ryan Blaney, Alex Bowman, David Reagan, and then Joey Logano, the pole setter, is 15th. William Byron, farther back in 16th. Ryan Sieg, in the first start for that team, is 17th. Ty Dillon, 18th. Jimmy Johnson, 19th. And then Eric Jones, car number 20, is position number 20. Brendan Gaughan, 21st. The champ, on Kyle Busch, is 22nd. Then Daniel Hemrick, Parker Klugerman, and Michael McDowell. And as we run down the rest of the field here, Corey LaJoy, Justin Haley, Matt DiBenedetto, Austin Dillon, the 51 of um, oh yeah, BJ McLeod, and then Brad Keselowski further back, JJ Yaley, Martin Truex Jr., Ben Rhodes, Christopher Bell, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., and then the double zero of Landon Castle, Kevin Harvick, Jeffrey Earnhardt, Bubba Wallace, John Hunter Nemechek, and then we wrap up with Josh Balicki. So we're going to take a commercial break here, and we will go ahead and we'll give you the green, white, checkered finish. Do not go anywhere. Do not change that dial here. And we will be right back after these messages.